Hello everyone, my name is Connor and this is another episode of One Minute English. So today we're going to learn how to study phrasal verbs. Okay, phrasal verbs can be difficult in English because there are a lot of phrasal verbs and sometimes the meaning changes depending on the context. So this is one way that you can study phrasal verbs. Basically, you choose one verb every day and you think of all the different phrasal verbs that you can make with one verb. So let's look at take. So phrasal verb is made up of a verb and a preposition. So we could go take off. Okay, take off. What does that mean? Um, an airplane. An airplane um, goes up. Right, that's one meaning. The airplane took off. Another meaning, that can be number one, another meaning is to remove clothing especially. So I took off my t-shirt. Another meaning is to increase um, or become popular maybe is better. So sales of iPhones took off last month. Fidget spinners took off last year, if you remember that. Um, okay, another one then. What is another preposition? We can use a take. Take on. Okay, what does take on mean? It has two meanings that I can think of now. One is to hire more people. So Facebook took on 50 new staff last month. And another meaning is, uh, you know, when you challenge someone to challenge. So Conor McGregor took on the world champion or something like that. Another way we say is when you add more responsibilities. So I took on more responsibilities at work. Responsibilities at work. Okay, let's change this. Okay, so there's three different meanings of take off and take on. Take up is another one. So to take up is usually to start uh, start a hobby. Okay, there are probably other meanings too. And think of other prepositions maybe that you can use here. There are lots and lots. If you run out of ideas, if you can't think of any more ideas, then look at this list of um, different phrasal verbs. You can choose by the letters. So here we have T for take. So look, we have more here on myenglishpages.com. So you can use take away. And you can find the meanings of take away and then add them. And take away means to subtract. That's one of the meanings of take away. Um, or to remove is another meaning. Okay. So you can use this to practice your phrasal verbs and learn new phrasal verbs every day like this. And I also recommend that you write them in a copy book as well and then you try to practice them in conversation okay you need to use the new vocabulary all right and um, if you don't want to go through this method and um, there is a course that you can buy i think it's about 30 dollars on espresso english and um, so you can learn phrasal verbs in context all different um, lessons here and phrasal verbs for health and sports. Okay, so you have an audio and you can, and video lessons here as well, and that you can learn phrasal verbs in context. Okay, I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, please comment below and please subscribe to this channel and we'll talk again soon.